Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. So today here we will discuss in order traversal of a tree. So in order traversal means we have to follow the rule of LDR that is first the left node, then the parent node, then the right side node. So if we are given a tree and if we have to do a in order traversal, how we can do that? Safely means we will not do any mistake and all the steps will be clear. So for a safer side, what we can do is we can write or denote each and every node as LDR. Then we will start from the root node. So root node is saying to go to the left side. So we will come here. Then we will again further go to left side. Then we will come here. Left side nothing is there. Then we will go for D. D means the parent node. Here in this case it is 4. We will print it. Then right side nothing is there. Then we will come back here. Here D we will print as 2. Then we will go to right. After coming to right, left nothing is there. D will be 5. Then R nothing is there. Then we will go back here. D we will print that is 1. Then R we will go to right side. And here after coming here we will go to left. After coming to left, left nothing is there. Then D will print as 6. Then R actually nothing is there. Then we will come back here at 3. We will print the D that is 3. Then R we will go and here left actually nothing is there, D will be 7 and R actually nothing is there. So this is the way we will complete the in order traversal. So now the question is that how we will implement the same thing in programming. So for that purpose we can uh, take help of two approach. One is recursion and another is iterative approach. So first we will discuss about the recursive approach. So now we will talk about the recursion approach. So in case of this uh, in order traversal, the rule we have to follow is LDR. That means left side first, then the root node or parent node, then the right side. So if we have to write a recursive function to implement that thing, that will also follow the same order and it is easy to remember also. So if we write written a method called in order traversal, so there it will accept the root node and if we will check for if it is uh, null or not. Then first we have to go to the left side means we have to call the same recursive function using root dot left. Then we have to simply print that thing the root node data. Then we have to go to the right side. So this is also LDR it is also following and the result we will get as 4, 2, 5, 1, 6, 3, 7. So now I will show you the complete call stack of this recursive function. So first it is starting with the root node and as the root node is not null, so then we have to call the same function with root dot left. So the root dot left is 2. So calling in order left with 2. Then we will call the in order left with 4. Because that time we are not printing anything or we are going to the right side function because it is going inside until it get the leftmost element that is 4. And then after that the call stack actually is coming back to 2 and it is going again right and printing everything. So if you do a dry run here you can see this is the way it will call and the call stack will be maintained like this. And in between it will print the value that is 4, 2, 5, 1, 6, 3, 7. So now we will jump into the ID and see the coding part. So now coming to the coding part. So here I have taken one class called in order traversal. And there I have defined a node structure of a tree that is data left and right. And here in this main method I have defined the root node and then I have adjusted the left and right node and form the complete tree which I have uh, shown in the example that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in that manner. Now we will write a method for in order traversal. So what we have to do here is we can first check if the node root is not null. Then what we have to do is first we have to go to the left side. So we can write root dot left. 
then we have to print the parent node so that will be root dot data i am giving some space here to print in a single line and then we have to call the right side method so we have to again call the same recursive function so if you notice here it is also following the approach ldr so it is if you have to remember also it is easy l means left then the data then the right side okay so if we run this one now i have to uncomment this one if we run this one we can check it is following the order of 4 2 5 1 6 3 7 so this is the correct result now we will talk about the iterative approach so in case of iterative approach as we are not using recursion here so we have to maintain our own stack here because we have to go till down and find the leftmost node and then we have to come back also and print the other nodes so the base data structure which will suit here is a stack so after getting the stack what we can do is first we will insert or first we will push the root node inside the stack and then what you have to check is for this value is there any left is there or not yes for one left is there so that we will next next push and we will keep on checking if for two also any left is there or not yes it is there so we will push four for four also then we will check if there any left is there or not no this time it is not there so that means we have to now pop that thing so if we pop four and we will print here then what we will get is for 4 when actually I am popping something that time we will check for is there anything in the right side present or not for 4 there is nothing in right so this part is done then we will pop 2 and we will print that thing so after popping 2 we will check if there is anything in the right or not yes for 2 the right 5 is present so we will push this inside the stack then in next time we will check for 5 is there anything left is there or not as it is not there then we will pop this one and print and after popping we will check is there anything in the right side of 5 is present there or not so in this case it is not present so next we will check for again 1 because that that time 1 will be in the top of the stack other things are popped so we will pop 1 and print so after popping 1 we will check right side something is present or not yes it is there 3 is present so we will insert 3 in the stack then we will check for 3 is there anything in the left side or not yes left side 6 is there that's why we will push 6 inside the stack and for 6 then we will check if there anything is there in the left side or not it is not there that means we can pop out and print here so for 6 which is just now popped we will check is there anything in the right present or not for 6 right side nothing is there so we can come back to 3 and we will pop 3 and we can print that thing so when actually we will pop 3 we will check right side anything is present or not yes 7 is present so we will push 7 inside the stack and next time when we have to pop the top of the stack so 7 we will pop and print actually we have to check the left side nothing is there that's why 7 we are printing and we can see now everything is done so this is the order 4, 2, 5, 1, 6, 3, 7. Now if we talk about the time complexity involved here as we are visiting each and every node here. So if we have total n nodes then the time complexity will be O n. And space complexity wise as we are taking one stack. So 
it can hold n values here in this case so it will be a space complexity of o of n and this is for both the cases too for recursive approach also we have to visit all the nodes that is time complexity is o n and the internal call stack will also maintain a space so that will be space complexity will be o n now we will jump into the id to do the programming of iterative approach now to print the retraversal in order manner i have defined one method in order traversal iterative approach so for iteration we need a stack so what we discussed so first we will check if the root node is null or not if root node equal to null then nothing to check we just simply print that root is null and we can return if that is not the case that time what you have to do is we have to define one stack of type tree node because it will hold the tree nodes new stack then what we can do is first we can define a variable called current node so that will be current and we can make the root node as the current node so as in this case we don't know like how deep we have to go to find the leftmost element so we can write a for loop and we can make it as true that means it will keep on iterating inside this while loop we will set some break statement to finish this operation so first our job is to find the leftmost element so if our current actually is not null then we can push this thing in the stack because as we are going down we have to come back also so to keep track of that thing we have to push it inside the stack we can do is we can do a current equal to current dot left so as we are going left side down so we have to assign the current equal to current dot left if that is not the case means if we are finding anything uh, as null so that time we will check if the stack is empty or not if stack is empty that means our job is done we can break the loop or else what you have to do is we have to keep on popping the element so if you remember when we reached 4 that time left side nothing was there that means the current was null so this time we have to pop element from the stack and we have to print that one so that will be our current dot data okay so current dot data and here we can use some space to print it in a single line so we will remove the ln part and then we can go for the right side so current we can mention as current dot right so after that same operation will be followed and it will check for if the current node is not null and it will push and it will go to the left side and until when actually the stack will be empty that time we have to break out of the loop so now let's run this so you can see both of them approach side by side so let's print it yeah so both the time result is same so this is the way we have to do a uh, in order traversal both using iteration and recursive approach thanks for watching this video